This is going to be a very interesting re- week. It starts on Thursday night with the Pittsburgh Steelers visiting the Cleveland Browns in some potentially really bad weather. Temperature is probably going to be in the 30s. If there's a wind, it could feel like it's in the teens or zero. And there's supposed to be rain. Nah, at that temperature, it's going to be slush or snow. So we're looking at some bad weather. And if the wind gets, say, 20, 25, but gusts maybe 30, you know, your lakefront there, so it could be messy. The line on the game is Pittsburgh three and a half, 36 and a half. With those kind of conditions, if they put them, it's 48 hours away, so we don't know yet. But those kind of conditions with this line, I'd be looking at the dog and the under, even though the number on the total is way down from what it opened. But we've seen games in Cleveland, if the wind is that bad, and we will be checking right up to game time. Now, going to the next set of games, we're going to go to uh, Sunday. Tampa Bay at the Giants. The Giants have determined that they're going to bench their quarterback, Danny Dimes, and they're going to go with Tommy DeVito. And Tampa is five and a half and 41 and a half. I can't see a lot of points in this game. Uh, no way. And, you know, Baker is playing real good football. They've lost some games, they've had some injuries. But I don't, I don't know where all the points are going to come from. So you could be looking at an under in this game. Five and a half is a lot, especially if it's an under game. Um, not a lot of points put up. So we're going to have to really look at this closer to game time as well. Detroit at the Colts. We know what the Lions did last week. That was unbelievable. 50 points that put a 50 burger on the board. Now they're going to go to the Colts, who Richardson had a rebirth last week. A couple weeks off actually helped him a lot. Lions are 7 and 49 and a half. Boy, I don't know. Um, That's a big number. The Colts are not a high-scoring team, and the Lions don't give up that much. But if that offense keeps rolling, I don't know if anything can keep rolling quite that good. Tennessee Titans are going to play the Texans. Texans Texans just dismantled Dallas, or was it Dallas that dismantled Dallas? Um, Texans are 8, 41 and a half. I do not think this number is right. I think it's too high. The Texans can put up some points. They can play well at times. Levis is a question mark always because he does turn the ball over, but Houston has not played anywhere near the brand of bat or football that they played last year. That's a big number. I don't think I could lay eight with the Texans. New England at Miami. This is a division game. Um, Dolphins are seven, 45 and a half. I think this could be a war. You know, the, the Patriots are playing better football than people give them credit for. Quarterback is really starting to move, move the ball. It's uh, this is a tough game. That's a, that's a tough tough matchup. Dallas goes to Washington. This is again again a division game, but it doesn't matter anymore for Dallas. They're done. Um, they got a lot of backups. They they don't run the ball. They can't stop the run. Um, Washington is ten and a half and forty four and a half. This should be an absolute blowout. The question is, is Washington at the level that they can actually? create separation in games. The young young quarterback at the back end of his first year. But we have to remember this. Their head coach, Quinn, was the defensive coordinator for Dallas last year. So I'd like to I, I think think he would like to put a whooping on Dallas. And Dallas can't do too much about anything anymore. So this might be a favorite, a double digit favorite that actually covers And this year, double-digit favorites in the NFL have actually done extremely well, which is very different than the norm. Double-digit favorites in the NFL have never been a good bet. But this year, 
And I'm not 100% sure I'm right about this, but I think they've won and covered every, every time. And that's about four or five times this year. Now, the Vikings go to the Bears. This is a spot where you've got a home division dog that could be dangerous. You have always have in Chicago potential for bad weather. Now, we know there's bad weather in the area. We just said that for Cleveland, but that's on Thursday. This is on Sunday. It could move out by then. It could be fine. But you've got the Vikings three and a half, 39 and a half. Williams played a little bit better last week. Uh, they, they, they have a different offensive coordinator. They toned down the offensive play calling. They put his legs into the mix. I think this is a dangerous spot for Minnesota. They're an indoor team playing outdoors. Like, like again, you, you got to check the weather. We get, get game time with this stuff. You got to check it. Next game, got another double digit favorite. The Chiefs coming off their first loss of the season. It should not have been their first loss of the season. They have not played that well. And they could have lost the day, the week before against Denver, except for a block kick. The Chiefs are 10 and a half at the Panthers, 42 and a half. The Panthers, I mean, all these teams that are bad teams, you know, they're coming to the back end of the season. Some of them are going to show improvement. I think I've seen a little bit of improvement with the Panthers, but I'm not sure I'm going to step in front of the Chiefs coming off a loss. I think I'll stay away from this one. The Broncos at the Raiders. Isn't the Raiders are another bad football team? The Broncos are turning it around. They're going to get a little bit of more pressure on Knicks at quarterback. I mean, Atlanta doesn't put pressure on the quarterback. They're going to get some from the Raiders, but the Raiders are not playing all that well. Broncos, five and a half, 41 and a half. Division game. You got to be careful of those division dogs, but this year is a little bit different year. I like Denver. I'm not too sure I'm going to lay numbers like this on the road with them, but um, again, it's another game time decision. Arizona plays Seattle. If Seattle is one or Arizona is one, you can, you can find numbers everywhere. The 47 and a half is the total. If there's good weather in Seattle, I actually like this game to go over the total. Again, weather conditions, it is winter. Seattle gets a lot of rain. That can change things. you got an Arizona team coming out of a dry climate down in Arizona coming up there, a wet field. If it is wet, I don't see any advanced weather yet for this game. The 49ers, who are not playing good football, visit the Packers, who are not yet playing good football. Jordan Love has been very sloppy. He turns the ball over the the wide receivers drop the ball, the, too many passes. The Packers are two and a half and 47 and a half. I don't know. Debo Samuel doesn't look all that good. CMC hasn't played up the snuff. Offensive line issues, question marks at the left tackle, da 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 da, all that stuff. Either, I mean, this is a toss up game. I'm going to wait till game time. I'm going to see what the injury report looks like on Friday which is what I do all the time. You have to know who the hell's playing in the games. The Eagles at the Rams. Here's one. Cross-country trip for the Eagles, who are running the ball very strong, very well, looking like maybe the second-best team in the NFC right now. Cross-country trip, minus three and 49 and a half against the Rams. Rams played much better last week than they did the week before at home against Miami, are they going to revert to what they did there? Or are they going to play like they did last week? So I like the Rams in this spot. Again, we're going to check the injuries. We're going to look at it. And then Monday night, we're talking about a pretty good football game here. The Ravens coming off a loss to Seattle. No, excuse me, Steelers. They lost the Steelers. That was a division game. Now they're going to the Chargers who just beat Cincinnati chargers under Harbaugh a lot different team than they were under Staley. Believe me, they're super better. And this is brother against brother Harbaugh against Harbaugh, Jim against John heck of a game. The Ravens are three and 50 and a half. And I want to ask 
Why are the Ravens three? What makes them the better team in the spot? Why? It's Lamar Jackson, who almost never wins big games. Yeah, he's a great player. He's a great athlete. He's got all the talent in the world. But when he gets in the big game, not so much. And this is brother against brother. Herbert's playing great for the Chargers. Again, this is Monday night. We're going to check that injury report. I would favor the dog in this game. The total is 50 and a half. That's a lot of points. But we just saw the game against the Bengals go way over after a slow start. However, the Bengals probably have the best offense in football. And they also don't have a very good defense. So it's kind of a, that's a, a great mix for betting the over. You have a good offense and no defense. I mean, yeah, that, that's going to create points. So I'm going to make a decision on that one later in the week as well. So thank you for listening. We will be back. Last week we were awesome. Saturday we were 9-1. and one. Sunday we were 8-2. and two. And um, we had the under in, in the uh, Monday night game, but we lost on that last score. So that's still a pretty damn good week. Anyway, we'll check with you later. Thank you.